Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we are playing a Mardu deck that promises to pump out tokens like crazy. There's no Devilish Valet, so it's not a Boros Nuke, but it is a Token Rush deck, Mardu style. If this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, and despite vicious rumors to the contrary, I am still alive. Dr. Yukon Socket! Yes, thank you! Filmed for a live studio audience. Thank you so much, Yukon Socket! Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub, hosted by Faces. Uh, this one was he called uh, Token Rush. Token Rush. Um, I did make some changes to Token Rush. It wasn't much. I'll try to point it out when we go through it. Uh, the big thing was that he only had 22 land, and I was getting mana screwed. And when I was originally playtesting this thing. Um, even the first couple of games we're going to show in the video were played with the 22 lands. Um, so yeah, I just I ended up pulling it back and uh, put a couple of extra lands in here, took out a couple extra cards, and this, but it's still 99% the deck that Faces put out. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards really quick. We're going to then talk about what this deck should do, and then we're going to go out and crush some hopes and dreams. What do we got here? We got uh, Creature Kill... Uh, puts out token creatures. Creature kill. Creature kill. Creature kill. Uh, draws a card. Draws a card or puts out a token. And then pumps everything up. Uh, rips apart graveyards and puts out a creature. Puts out a creature that gets bigger every turn. Wipes the board of... Well, you know, it's a board wipe, essentially. Or an artifact board wipe. Doubles the amount of tokens that you put out whenever you put out tokens. Uh, can put out a token, but can also come out and exile something. Burns down the house, does five points of damage to all creatures and all planeswalkers, or puts out three devil tokens. Uh, Eternal Wander will, you choose a, each player and you pick one creature from each of them, at which point then they have to sacrifice everything else. On that, it could put out a 2-2 two -two white samurai or like bounce something in and out. Skitter Beam would be something good to bounce in and out. When it comes out, you put out two additional skitter beams, and, and they, both, they all have trample and haste. So basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to be putting out, we're going to be using control to take out other people's stuff, wiping the board if we need to. Hopefully, we'll be able to have Mondrak out, so that Mondrak out, so that all the dudes that are putting out token creatures will put out twice the number of token creatures, and we'll just go nuts on people. Will it work? Let's find out. All right, but before we do, let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Toxroll, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, up and against Guard Moustique. Moustique. Whatever that is. Moose Teak. Deep. Let's say hello in our little precious way. All right, let's see. We got no black, so that's not going to happen for us. We got the white. Just pretend we could do something. Leave... This last one of deal was a wedding announcement. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> right. We have Boros showing so far. And we're showing Boros for them. Ah, we're playing against a uh, equipment deck. How good for us. Uh double strike two two. Alright.
I mean, destroy evil if it gets any more powerful. Else plus five, I can take it out. I just got to keep some mana available. I hate that. Hate it. What am I, a blue player? Mega Brotherhood's end as well. Just wipe the board. I mean, it's just going to be more of the same, though, is the problem. Man, I, the choices here are just rough. Uh, I'll ensure let's do it. Pick your poison, baby. All right, so we got our fifth man, our fourth man, which is good. We need to get to five. We want to burn down a house. All right, yeah, we need to burn down. We need brothers. We need to some brotherhoods here. That guy's hitting me for six. All right, time to start board wiping. Oh, well, I wish I could destroy the artifacts. I'd take out Urbrax's forge if I were to do that. Thin for two. I keep them thin with the other cards I have. I have the ability else to smite. But I don't need another man if I want to do something immediate. Unless he starts hasting me here. Else with smite's not going to do anything. So I have to wait for attacking or blocking creatures. I got my fifth mana though. Could just be a nice good song of the torrents. Toten taunts. We get out uh was it four rats next turn all pumped? Oh the humanity! Sweet googly moogly, I'm gonna have to kill people. Totem Tance out with a nice Mondrak sounds really good though. It's doubling them up. Unfortunately, I wish I still had. Oh, you stupid jerk. We're good. I mean, we just got some kill, some control. What do you destroy? Nothing. Alright, so I can kill it with Elsa's Smite. Let's go for it to try to attack. But now two. Surprise did that. All right, yeah, that is going to suck. We're just going to have to burn down the house. Burn down the house! No totem tants, not this time. All right, well, this guy looks evil to me. Yeah, he's evil, baby. No, he's just a part-time plumber. All right, here we go. Little Brass Forge. Suck it, recruitment officer. Oh, we are so low on life at this point.
It's not working out quite the way I'm expecting it to, but we'll go ahead and do this. It's gonna get at least two life out of the deal. I was thinking I could exile this guy, but then I realized he's not tapped. Does that give up the card in your hand? Here you go. Alright, we are down at six. He can kill his, uh, he can sit there and get rid of his, what's in his hand. We do so much better. Alright, what do we got left over here? We got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put out eight. Or not, sorry, that's not enough. I said seven, we put out six. Draw a card, baby. All right, so that is nine points. Means he's pretty much got to kill me on this next turn. Let's just send it in. We're going to be dealing 10 this time. I, I can't keep it alive, unfortunately. Let's go for throws. See who's willing to give it up. Uh, he's not enchantment. All right. We'll draw a card off of this. Send them all in. All those rats. Go do your business, my friends. Come on. We're going to rat up. We're sitting in the rats. Got one dude that'll sit there and jump. We got to chump. All right, turn a warrior. So the rats poise lethal. I got the ability to block. I got a great position here. Still got plenty to kill him with. And we win. Touchdown, Lava Bears. All right, we're playing against Seanery. And we're playing against Seanery. All right, uh, two mana. We'll keep it. Hopefully, we'll pick up a third. You just go for the throat to kill the fairy. There's our third mana. Double or brass forge, that is a glorious thing. I don't think I care. Or brass forge. This is your last chance to fight it off. Of course you get out bigger, better things, I suppose. Looking for something you don't already have. You're looking for five mana there. You're looking at five different colors, right? Yeah. You're playing Atraxia.
All right, the question is, are we going to be fast enough to get to him before he can get to a track seat? He's already got, it's got six showing right now. I'm sure Trax is coming out next, and that is rough. We kill Trax, yeah. We totally can. No, we gotta wait, unfortunately. And we rush in. Gotta use the go for the throat or shoulders e edict. Unfortunately, hopefully not edict, because you already got one of each. He's looking for something rather than actually trying to play. Okay, so he didn't have a track yet. I always got to keep going. Do I care? I don't. I don't care. All right, it's down to five. If we pick up another mana, we could throw in with a uh, burn down the house and a little some devils over there. Those guys are so cool. You got enough for Topiary Stomper. Nice thing about Traxia is that you get a bunch of cards, but we won't be able to play them. There's a Traxia. He's gonna get a bunch of cards. All right, and we played the game perfectly. And he's screwed completely. Boom, boom, goes the room. All right, we're playing against Furball. Fairly sure that's what we're trying to get at there. Two mana, that's rough. All right, play with two. All we could do is go for a throat. Hopefully pick up third mana. Got a lot of things we could do for three. There's that third mana we're looking for. Do we need another red though, unfortunately? We have two things that require two red. Hopefully we'll pull a red on the next turn. That'd be really nice. We just need another. We need a red and a white. I'm going to play with Red and Wandering Emperor at some point. Don't look at me. What do you got? The Thalia. Yeah, I think that's Thalia. Alright, we're still looking each other down. We each got two mana. I got an Urbrask Forge with their name on it. I hope you don't have any uh, artifact destruction. White's known for taking out non-land permanents. Doesn't appear to have any instance at all. We went for the throat. We went for it. Jerk. Uh, why wasn't I allowed to go? Did I push too much stuff? All right, that's not what we're looking for. I'll attack it. Let's get him. Come on. You could do it. I 
That's fine. Alright, so it's going to be wicked. Jesus! I need another red so badly. <laughs> Nothing. See, that's not going to do us any good. All right, head on in, ladies. 14. I mean, I could put rats out, but they would just die if I were to attack with them. These guys have vigilance, though. That's not cool. I just got to really hope. We got to get that red mana so badly. No, nothing, huh? Alright, so this is for attacking or blocking. We could take something out. Alright, is so he going to throw the Flesh Gorger in the way? I'm okay with that. I'm really cool with that. Should I just kill? Nah, that's going to die anyway. Alright, so we can kill another one of them. Ooh, that's not going to do any good. Yeah, it's just the lack of mana. We got a ton of great stuff. We could not get even a fourth mana. What is the mana level on this thing anyway? 22. It is rough. All right, I've been against Brian Viss. Brian Viss. All right. Keep... Going slow. I'm not a fan when I see just nothing but blue. I do not like playing against blue decks. All right, that's cool. At least I can get out Urbrass next turn. Urbrass Forge. All in. I'm playing full on Mardu color wise. You can see it. This guy up to he's just looking for stuff. Do I care about putting on two additional rats with haste? Yeah, let's do it. One back. One, two. There's some hasty rats. You can encounter that. I'm playing that with Mondrak be cool, but. You gotta play what you can play. I mean, so far he's done nothing but just draw cards. There he goes again. The thing is, I've never even seen these before. Sleight of hand. I can't even tell you what this deck is. I mean, is he going to just try to put out a, a hottie gin here in a second? Yeah, there we go. Called it.
All right, got him down to 10. We're still kind of sucking on fumes here at the moment. I don't appreciate that. Is that going to cost me additional two? So I need another mana to be able to kill it. There we go. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, he played it at the wrong time. I shall decline at this point. He's just, just going to block the Forgeling. I mean, it would be cool, I guess, if I get out Mondrak at this point. And then he'll start doubling up on the Forgelings. Come on, another red mana would be really nice right now. Really nice. This guy's out of, he doesn't have any mana left. Let me pick up a red mana. There we go. That's exactly what I need. Burn down the house. <laughs> and her breast forge. Perfect. All right, this guy's sucking on fumes. Unless you can handle her breast forge, he's out of here. Yeah, it turns out he's playing classic mono blue tempo with some interesting cards we've never seen before. Yeah, that's not going to help you with one mana, dude. Unless you could bounce back the forge, but even then I'd still be able to get it as a 1-1. Yeah, he's just sucking it. He's grasping straws. That's 12. Pow, pow! In your face, Davy Jones. Victory! All right, we are playing against Crusader. 1066. I dislike the lack of color. Let's mulligan this thing. All right, that's much better. Keep... And, uh, I don't have any red mana. All right, we'll do that. We'll hope. Oh, there's red mana right there. Whew, I didn't see it before. We had that side being hidden. All right, so our, everything we're doing right now is relying upon Urbass Forge. Got some instance there, but uh, nothing specifically you could do. All right, so Tosca's welcome is going to be good. I'm going to say whenever you, whenever. Okay, good, because that means Urbesk Forge is going to be drawing us a card every turn then. but I, eh, I could kill her off. That's fine. Let's do it. All in. You gain your three life. Nope. I'll just suck it. Lands to the left like the good lord demands. Oh, he is playing with life gain out the butt. I need another red if I want to burn down the house. All I could do is destroy evil. Draw me a card. So oh, just white.
All right, Elsteth, smite. Look out his hook hands. I will kill you. A lot like that. No, no, don't protect him. He doesn't deserve your, your, your protection. All right, come on, red mana. Not red mana. Ooh, we can go ahead and slaughter some stuff big time. Yo 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 yoink! Gone. Draw me a card, baby cakes. All right, we're still looking for that red mana though. Hopefully with Tashka's welcome, that'll help us to draw into what we need. Still, more life gain. Come off it. Pump up nothing. And here we go for another one. Lots of mana, but we don't have that second red mana that we need so badly. There's a ton of it in here. You gonna try to sneak over and get my Wandering Emperor, baby? That's not gonna happen. Vigilance. You would be considered a blocking creature or an attacking creature. Therefore, you are dead. Come on, red mana. Not red mana. What is going on? All right, I tell you what, samurai up, baby. Get another one out. Okay, just a couple. We'll just choke it back. I don't want to give it to him for nothing. If our attack with the other two, the Infection Missionary would block. He'd gain two life out of the deal. He's got he's to have some skin in the game. That's all I'm asking for here. Fortunately, he does not have a toughness for four or greater, and he's not enchantment, so I cannot get rid of the Seraph. I'd like it if you could slap a Popo counter on that guy. That'd be really great. All right, that's the end of that, I guess. All right, come on, red mana. Yes. Burn it down. Burn it all down. Uh, I'll be able to kill it when it comes back, I believe. How? All right, there we go. There we go. Victory. All right, so here we are with Token Rush, minorly adjusted. Um, yeah, so yeah, in the middle of my play, I ended up having, I was just getting mana screwed like crazy. Mana screwed, right? So I ended up uh, pulling out a couple of cards, really thin. Um, and uh, I put in two more lands so we can get from 22 back up to 24. 
Because, yeah, it's like this deck can't live on just 22. It's not. I mean, look at that mana curve right there. It's at three, right? So we need to get up to the mid range. We need more mana. This deck needs a full complement of 24. It might even be good to have 26, but I am not willing to sacrifice. I thought it did very well at 24. Uh, we just had to sacrifice a couple of cards. I'll put up the adjusted um, the adjusted uh, deck list uh, under my name, but this is 99% uh, face. There you go. That's who it is. All right, so was this deck a great deck? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it from start to finish. Love token generators. This one did it across the board. Big time good. Who was the MVP? I got to say for me, um, to me, it was Urbrass Forge. That was one I was always looking forward to. So many good things. Lord Skitter. The problem is, is that Lord Skitter puts out, you know, non-hasty rats. Wedding announcement, non-hasty servants. Um, Mondrak Dominus is really good in this one. Oh, Songs of Totentons. Man, that card is really, really good. It's best if you can wait till later to play it. Skitter Beam coming out with a Mondrak at. I got to say, I think that Mondrak is really the thing that holds this whole deck together. Everything just kind of re revolves around it, around its particular orbit. So even though I love Urbass Forge, um, I'm going to say Mondrak is the MVP of this deck. It's a four. Um, it's an easy kill. You got to go for the whole getting it uh, getting it indestructible, but usually ends up dying before you can do that. And this very turn you put it out, they usually slaughter it. But if you can keep it out, Mondrak will make this deck just so much more than it normally is. All right, so there's your MVP, Mondrak the Glory Dominus. Uh, is this deck competitive? I ended up getting, um, let's see, overall, a... It keeps telling me I got a 100% win rate. That is not right. Version 2 got a 100% win rate. That's when they had a little bit extra lands in it. 80% uh, win rate just because I lost one game. So, um, yeah, it's somewhere between 80 and 100%. Where am I? Where's my numbers at here? Oh, 86%. There we go. Yeah, 86% win rate off of this deck. It is a stomp machine. Uh, I'm not sure how great it'll do against... Um, aggro did i play against any aggro i played against probably an aggro white at one point i know i played uh you know, guard moustique was boros i don't remember if that guy was really aggro or not but uh yeah with with uh brotherhoods in you got a long way to go with taking them out taking out the individuals with all the control you have early on is really good so um, there's a strong chance you could take out Agres. Uh, is this really a, a, a ladder competitive deck? I'm not sure. I'd have to play it more to really figure that one out. Uh, but definitely it's casual competitive. I'm going to give this one a check as being a good competitive deck. Yeah, it, I mean, for me, it was an insanely good deck. Number two, was this deck fun? Uh, absolutely it was fun because we got Urbrask and they had turn three being able to start putting dudes out. Lord Skitter's putting dudes out. Um, wedding announcement. Lots of stuff at turn three. Start to put guys out. Before that, you got lots of good um, creature removal between Go for the Throat, Shoulders Edict, Destroy Evil, Elspa Spite, um, Card Draw going on. I mean, yeah, this deck has got a lot of things that help it get towards the end of the game. Thing is, you don't really need Skitter Beam. You don't really need Burn Down the House, even though they are very effective cards. This deck does good at its third level, which is just, I mean, not really early game, but just the beginning of mid game, turn three, turn four, you know? So, um, yeah, this deck has got a lot of fight. It, it's not aggressive early, but it's got enough control to slip you into what you need to be at there. Tokens! All right, so this deck definitely fun, in my opinion. Big time fun. Mardu has such a potential to go to Crazy Town, and this is a great Mardu deck. Uh, let's see. Is this deck interesting? Absolutely. Because of all of the token generation in here, that's what makes it really interesting to me. I love the addition of Song of Toten Taunts. Uh, who are we missing? It's like Adeline is a, something you usually see in here a lot. Uh, is black necessary? Yeah, why not? As I say, you got a bunch of other control. Shoulders Edict and Go for the Throat are efficient killers, but you could go for some white stuff. But it's Lord Skitter. That's the reason why. Originally, this deck had 
Uh, the red black dude that was putting out the two one every single turn. That guy's okay. Uh, but I ended up taking him out. I thought that, you know, I needed additional land. There was only one of him. So the chance of getting him in any particular gameplay was really thin anyway. I never missed him. He doesn't he doesn't add anything that the rest of the cards already do. So um Lagamos, Hand of Hatred, that's it. I love Lagamos Land of Hatred. I think he's a great guy. But this deck, the only thing that makes it worth keeping around is Mondrock making duplicates of it. Uh, we don't have a lot of sacrifice. We're not sacrificing our guys at all, um, except for to Mondrock himself. It's really just about duplicating the stuff when it comes out. I mean, another guy that would probably be good in this deck would be like the Devilish Valet, just because you have so many guys popping into turn, you know, coming in at a particular point, and being able to, to quintuple his, his damage on the Devilish Valet would be fantastic. But it's not necessary. This deck was great unto itself. It was really good and very well balanced. So I thought this was an interesting deck because it was Tokens Tribal. That's what I got to say. Tokens Tribal, baby. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, look, there's even Murex down there for putting out those little Phyrexian Might tokens. Fantastic, man. Song of Totentance. That was, was really good with this deck. All right, so let's add that up. Is it competitive? Yes. Is it fun? Totes, my goats. Is it interesting? Yes, completely. That makes this deck into an A-plus deck. A-plus. And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice, I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later. <laughs>